I'm Heinbach and it's good to have you back. This video is sponsored by Perfect Circuit, a fine retailer of electronic musical instruments. They give me an OP1 field and they give you the chance to win one. More on that at the end of this video. I did not like the OP1 field at first glance. I've traveled around the world with my 10-year-old battered original OP1. I used it in countless shows, songs and soundtracks. It was never perfect, but I made it work for me. I used it like a Swiss army knife. At home I have tools that do each individual job better, but on the road the OP1 is a wonderful combination of tools. I could always MacGyver a session, compose a track or play a live performance when laptops crashed or adapters were left at home. Compared to a laptop or iPad, it is more portable and needs less stuff around it to work. And once I realized how important it is to add visuals to my music, it looks better on film than any of these. It has paid itself a hundred times over. I have grown very attached to it. When I first put my hands on the updated model, the field at Superbooth 2020, it was a strange experience. People were sitting in the shade, squinting hard at the display, trying to decipher it. Odd for an instrument with a field moniker. I joked that it was made under the Swedish sun. It looked a bit put together compared to the one-piece design of the OP-1. The muted colors said to me, playtime is over. Combined with a hefty price tag, I decided I could hang on to my trusty old OP-1 a bit longer. Then Perfect Circuit asked me to do a giveaway with them. I decided I would give the OP-1 field a second chance. And it made me realize how attachment made me blind and prejudiced. Because the field is just better in every way. Except looks, uh, to me at least. With the OP-1, I never made a piece with any of the synth engines and I avoided most of the digital effects except for the spring reverb. Not for lack of trying, they just all sounded a bit cheesy and limited to me. They take more than they give to a signal. I immediately found myself enjoying the synthesizer engines on the field though. They sound fuller, less caged in. They're unabashedly digital and hi-fi, same as the effects. The keys are now velocity sensitive, which makes for more expressive playing. The different tape types you can record on are not just a gimmick, they actually influence the tone in interesting ways. The spring reverb sounds as good as ever, just not as noisy. 
The new reverb is fantastic and beautifully visualized. The output is clear and full range, no need for extensive analog processing and digital noise reduction to make it sound good. On stage, being able to save and recall a loop is a boon. But does it work in the field? I tried it under Turkey's autumn sun and I could comfortably read the display. It seems brighter to what it was at Superbooth. If you listen closely, you can hear the waves splash in this track. The integrated microphone is rather more detailed. That gives you a lot more possibilities. In my theater work, I often only have one train ride to compose a song that will then be played on stage in the evening. Actors and directors will be listening and they are merciless. To save myself from being torn to shreds, I sometimes recorded the sketch I made on the OP-1 straight from the speaker with a dictaphone. That made it clear, this is a sketch, not a finished thing. The field sounds so much better that I'm confident I can make a song that sounds decent on a huge theater PA in an hour or so, like this one. I've been so divided for all of my life this body it deprives me it takes away my time I need to Find a new way to get through these times. My body is divided, it deprives me of life. I I often got asked if I can recommend the original OP-1. I always said, if you are on the road a lot, yes. It is a wonderful companion, fun and fast to create on, focused on listening and skill. I doubt I would have used mine so much if it was only sitting in my studio.
For the field, this still holds true. If you are a traveler, you will come to love it. But thanks to its updated sound, it can now hold its own in the studio. It is not confined to be a charming lo-fi tool, as its predecessor was for me. It has range. I would not hesitate to put out tracks I made entirely on it without much post-production. It is also better at the campfire, thanks to the nicer speaker. I will hold on to my battered original. There are patches that will only sound like they sound on it. But it's retired from touring life, working mainly as a MIDI sequencer for Ableton now. The OP-1 field is an expensive piece of gear. And whether you feel it is something you can make good use of is entirely up to you. I just hope this video gave you a better idea what the field can do. Thanks to this video sponsor Perfect Circuit, one of my American viewers can now win an OP-1 field. Perfect Circuit have a lot of the instruments for sale that I like to play and they ship worldwide. I make a big list of my favorites in the description, so check that out. For a chance to win the OP-1 field, you need to click the link in the top of the description box and follow the instructions along. They handle all the giveaway part, so from here on it's just me wishing you good luck. That's it for this video. As usual, there's music from it on the Patreon. And if you have any questions, do put them in the comments below or visit the subreddit. Thank you all for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye.